Hello YouTube, Jeffrey here. Today is a very important day for the channel. Um, today is the day we have hit 50 subs, or at least we've surpassed 50 subs already. And boy, that's just the crazy thought. <laughs> um, when I first created my YouTube channel, my very first channel was September 9th, 2017. This channel was created April 11th, 2018. So... It's been over a year with this channel, and it's been in total um, about two years. I, I, I started uploading around Christmas time of 2017, so it's been, what, 2017, so it was, what, 2018? It's been about a year? No, this is, I thought it was two years, because I started... 2017 yeah around christmas so 2018 christmas be a year yeah it's been a little over a year and a lot has changed i will admit but we're definitely going at a much slower place than most other youtubers go most youtubers in this particular community blow up i'm not one of them and that's okay I've always been a slow person when it comes to working, so it's okay that I'm taking my time, I feel like. When I first started YouTube, the mentality was very different than now, I will admit. When I first started YouTube, it was mainly to get a following, to get subscribers, I guess. Not really. It was more to get a following. I want a fan base, I want a following to make this more interesting. But... What is that really going to do not thinking about it? You know, it took a while once I made this channel and ditched the cringe type of content. Not the cringe, but the overlay, I guess, is the big one. Once I started making stuff I liked on the channel, once I figured out a little bit what I like. Oh, uh, oh kind of. Mainly Splatlanders. Splatlanders is a series I am in love with on this channel. It didn't blow me up or anything. It didn't do anything to the channel. But I definitely want to bring it back once I get there. Because there's a big part. There's a big point to that series I want to talk about. And that mainly is that that series was built to expose the Skyrim community to Splatoon. And the Splatoon community to Skyrim. But it's hard to do that when nobody's here. So that type of series is probably going to start back over later. But that is a good reason. It has a good reason, so don't worry. But other than that, I mean, that was really the turning point, I guess you could say, where I kind of realized, let's just make stuff I like. I tried a bunch of series out. They didn't. You can kind of tell they were kind of corny. They didn't really work. But yeah, the mentality of becoming a YouTuber and figuring out what to do was very hard when I first created a YouTube channel. I struggled to figure out what I wanted to do content-wise. Because again, I had no experience with YouTube. I thought coming in with the equipment and making it look professional, that's that's a point, but not really. It still didn't do a great job editing-wise, and that was a big hit. So coming in to YouTube is just your own experience, and everyone has a different journey. Some people start off doing it, creating amazing content. Look at Bookie. And they blew up from that, but they knew what to do. Um, maybe not even, but they, they just came in doing what they should be. I don't know that they knew it or not, but yeah, I thought I did, but I didn't, which is okay. You know, everyone starts off from somewhere, you know, but the mentality from starting off YouTube, it, it's interesting because I started YouTube off to build a fan base, you know. Now things have changed a little bit. Over time, when this channel was created, I still had that mentality, especially big time, because I wanted to match the subscriber account and go beyond what just happened on the channel. So I was very, I was a little pushy on that, but I kind of wasn't. It was weird. I will never tell you in a video to like and subscribe from here on out, unless it's like a joke. <laughs> um, but I'll never tell you guys, hey, don't forget to like, subscribe to the video. Just because there's there's no point. I don't agree with that standpoint. If, if you wanted to subscribe to this channel, you would do it without me telling you. And same with likes. If you want to like the video, then like it. I'm not going to tell you to like the video. 
if you wanted to like this video, if you felt like this video, you could like it, then you would hit the like button. I just have to remind you. Same with subscriptions. So, why push it, you know? So when I was recording this video, I was having a problem with the mic. Well, it wasn't really a problem, but I was touching the mic and the boom like that a lot. So you're hearing sounds like, or like, I'm just moving the same spring I was before. Stuff like that, but to a much less degree. So, whoops. Anyways, back to the video. I'm just glad we got the 50 subscribers because this content that I make, I feel like I just started making the content I, I'm happy with to an editing level, kind of. My commentary still sucks, but I feel like editing standpoint, the content I'm making is pretty much editing-wise where I want to be. We're just creating content that's, hey, I need a break from creating creative content. Let's just play Splatoon or do something crazy, basic, basically. Like how Vian, how he has videos of him just playing Splatoon instead of him doing like a music montage or something very intense. He kind of takes a break from that from a bit and creates just basic content. Stuff like that. Um, that's basically where the basic wise, I feel like I'm happy there. Although I do feel like that commentary wise hasn't changed much. There is a form of commentary I want to explore a little bit, which we'll talk about. Which, well, you'll hear about it later when I come back, which, by the way, I'll be back uh, end of June uh, or just July. End of June or somewhere in July. I'll be back. Mainly because when I uploaded Sky's Ring of Heroes, I wasn't a big fan of it, so I stopped it. And I didn't want to continue Splatlanders because I just felt like pulling the plug on it. Because I just, I don't know, it didn't seem right. Now looking back at it, I think I can continue it again. But I'm going to wait until I get a fan base, as I said before. So, I want to come back. But if I just came back, I would still be creating this type of filler content. And it would get to the point where I just keep buying off time. Because this is so ambitious and so hard and so... You hear about it like being like that. And honestly, it is. But let's just do it. Because otherwise, I'm just going to put it off. And keep putting it off. You know, Yeah, I kept saying, yeah, it's going to happen when I get off from school. Alright? But then what would happen is I get off from school, go through that break. Still, none of that content. So... I just thought, let's just stop the channel and we're not going to upload again unless I need to or until I do something creative with this channel that I've always wanted to do. Um, but yeah, so we're going to try it out, see how it goes. I want to start off, there. I, there's other series I want to do, but I'm going to wait until I pull up with the creative stuff because I feel like if I do that, it'd be a better wow reaction, even though nobody's here. If I blow up from it, great. I'm waiting to get the mentality because when I first decided to do this, I thought, oh, I'm going to come in with a music montage and it's going to blow up. But, or just really creative stuff in general, that it's going to blow up. But I, right now, actually, I feel like, all right, if it comes out, let's just expect it to do nothing. What if it does the same stuff every other video makes? About 15 views, let's say. Let's say even put a limit to views. Let's just, if it does nothing, then that's fine. Um, it'd be a shame, but like still, do I expect it to blow up right now? Obviously not. Did I expect it before? Yes, but I waited and now I feel like it's, now I feel like if I put it out, if it doesn't blow up, that's fine. If it does blow up, cool i don't i'll be at a loss for words if the content i am creating if i come into it thinking it's gonna blow up i've learned that it's not back on my first channel it's kind of with jeffrey which you're gonna take a look at in a live stream here um i'll put the date up on screen right about now if i had the mentality of oh once i make gameplay videos it's just gonna blow up because it's a gameplay video nope that didn't happen 
I learned that just because I'm making a video of this genre doesn't mean it's going to blow up. I also thought, what was it? Splatlanders was going to blow up. Did it blow up? It, it didn't. Um, so going in with that mentality is something I've learned not to do. When I uploaded the videos, really things got heated. Well, the first one was for fun. When I was playing with Trinity RGB, I don't remember if it was, it was Splatoon. It was for fun. And it did really well. Well, for me, it got like, what, 70 views? That was insane. Uh, when that happened, I was like, mind blowing. Loss of words. And then I did it again with Smash, and that was really where it felt like it was um, for views. And then I did it with Snorth, and that was a little bit for fun, but it seemed like mostly for views. So I'm like, you know what? Let's create the content I like. Bring up Heroes launches. I make the videos on that. Well, one. And I realized I didn't really like it. I tried it. It didn't work. Cool. You know the rest. Um, about slapping YouTube and all that. I'll be back. I said when. So, yeah. Anyways, I've been rambling for too long. Let's get to the point. So, 50 subscribers. <laughs> I don't know how I made the 50 subscribers, but... Thank you. Seriously, thank everyone who subscribed to me. Even the two or three that might be me. But thank you. Thank you all. Because it's crazy that someone would have subscribed to my content. Just, it's insane. I watched the interview with that bald gamer and Felboats. For those who don't know, Daniel, aka Felboat, is a big inspiration for me. And I feel like we'd click if we got to meet each other. Anyways. Um, I watched the interview, he's a huge inspiration, and honestly, I just love Daniel's personality. I'm not a funny person myself, but something about our personalities works, especially on Twitch when he does the chill streams. Oh my god, I love those streams so much. I wish he did them more, or that I continue them more. But Daniel was such an inspiration to me. And, um, yeah. I was watching the video with him and that ball gamer, and he said something interesting. Um, well, he said that he was a very soft-spoken person, shy. He has ADHD, blah blah blah. I have ADD. You know, oh, you also didn't get social cues, but anyways. Um, basically, I feel kind of like that. I could talk a lot. <laughs> you, I want to make talking content. I will, um, in the future, but I will say I am a shy person. IRL. Our line's different, but I, IRL, I'm a shy person, and until you get to know me, I'm shy. When you get to know me, then I become, like, I can't reveal my, not reveal, but I, I just can't be myself. I'm not really myself. Um, and then once you really get to know me, like, deeply, then I'll start to be myself a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how it rolls with me, and Daniel's saying that he has the same thing is kind of like... Yeah, we click a little bit more now. Um, but yeah. I feel like, as a chill-wise, we're pretty cool. Um, I can still be kind of goofy here and there, but, you know, that's kind of rare. Well, kind of. <laughs> Depends on the environment, then I'll adapt. But he also said the big point was with YouTube. That if you go into it thinking you're going to do very well... A lot of times he has seen it flops. Um, I jumped into YouTube doing that and I literally thought about stopping this channel just because my original mentality was that. Um, you know? I first started YouTube thinking it for views, as I said it. I think I said it before. I got on to, I wanted a fan base, all that. Of course, things changed and... I had a YouTuber tell me, I'm not going to say names, that, like, I don't like editing. I'll say this straight up. It's not that I don't like editing. It's that before I edit, I kind of dread it, So, which is why I tend to delay content quite a bit. I don't like the editing process beforehand. Once I start editing, I like it. So, 
getting me doing content consistently is a big key because then it'll keep me editing because I, oh I like it anyways they said that they didn't say I'm not going anywhere but they said you're probably not gonna go anywhere something like that hey so I'm trying to eat and make a video and I noticed that one YouTuber didn't say that. I just I'm gonna have a hard time trying to get have my channel do well, basically. Um, so yeah, back to the video. I want to continue eating and edit. But they weren't mean about it. They were being nice. So yeah, that kind of hurt my feelings. A smidgen, nothing crazy. I, I was okay, no problem. I remember being in a uh, Splatoon two, a Splatoon YouTuber. I mean, it's Splatoon, yeah, it's Splatoon, Splatoon YouTuber Discord. They took me out of it because of I wasn't uploading consistently, which is fine, whatever. I don't care. But that place is a home for me, honestly, and then they kicked me out. And yeah, basically that was the story. I honestly could care less about getting into it. If they ask me again, I'll just sit down and take a long thinker on it, but I don't think I'll get back into it, not gonna lie. Even if I do upload consistently, maybe, I don't know. You have to give me some time to think about it, obviously. But just a fail about saying that just because you don't have to... like, He was saying... What was it again? That it's okay to do YouTube for the money. It's okay to do YouTube for the fame. Well, not the fame, but to get a fan base, a following. But don't make it your main mentality. And that statement... That got me like... I'm doing this correctly for once because you always hear you do YouTube because it's a hobby and that's it you never hear someone say basically what Fedbot said so thank you for saying that um that really kept me going yes this matter just been yesterday from recording this but thank you thank you that gives me hope that Maybe this channel will do well. I mean, we're at 50 subs. 50 subs. Thank you so much. It's it's crazy. My reaction on stream to that was just insane. Of hitting 49. Of noticing that I'm at 49 subs. I thought I was at like 30. But this just says... Maybe. Just maybe. We could go somewhere. I'm not anticipating on it. But it would be crazy to do so. There's going to be a stream, I'll pop the date up on the screen right now of when it's going to be. We're going to go back, look at my old channel, Sky is Activate Jeffrey, and this one. Look back at the previous content from it, you know? It'll be about an hour. And maybe we'll check out that video that I mentioned. Maybe. Just maybe. Oh, and just and just someone famous watching my video. When, v, when I found out Veen watched the rest of the video, I was like, oh god, he, he, he must have not liked it. He must have just clicked delay real quickly. I didn't think he watched the whole video. I don't know what they did, I don't care. Well, kind of, <laughs> but like, that's just crazy to realize he thought he watched my first video. That's insane. Anyways, um, but yeah, just seeing someone famous watching your videos is just crazy. So yeah, YouTube, the journey of YouTube is just starting. Yeah, it's been two years, but we're a slow, we're, we're I'm a slow person. I take things slowly and my mind thinks that way. So yeah, well, that's my TED talk. <laughs> I didn't want to say one more thing. Shoot, what was that one more thing? <laughs> well, just the mentality of doing well on YouTube is an insane thought now that I think about it, you know? It just hits you, and you're just like, wow. What is happening? This is this is crazy. All right, so, all right, yes, so welcome back. Um, <laughs> Sorry to cut ahead, but this is, that's my TED Talk. But before I go... Here is what happened on stream when I realized I had 49 subscribers. Take a look. How many subs are we at? I don't think, I think it's like 30, we at 40 actually. We're at 49. What the heck? Okay. We're at, um, we're basically at 50 subs. That's insane. Holy cow. Y'all, we're, we're at basically at 50 subs. What?
Where, where's my music? I need to, I need to turn that off. Y'all, we're, we're, we're at 50 subs. I just kind of realized this. We're, we're at 50 subs, basically. That's... Holy cow. That's insane. All right. I know 50 is not a big number. 50 isn't a big number, but uh, I'm a skidoodle. We've been live for an hour, an hour and a half almost. So, yeah. I'm a skidoodle. So that was uh, what happened when I got to realize I had 49 subs. Now we're at 50, and it's just, it's mind-blowing. I can't believe it. Thank you all for subscribing. That's my TED Talk. And uh, before I go, I'll be back. I want to say that I'll be back in late June or July if things go as planned. And then when I will come, when I come back, it's going to be big. I hope. I don't want to over anticipate things, but let's just say it's going to be in a very different and big way, as I planned. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. So uh, yeah, bye.